Hey guys, this is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome back to my channel. And today's topic is going to be on measure of central tendency. So we shall be learning about the three concepts, which is mean, median and mode. Hey guys, so as you have already known that I have recently started uh, working on a couple of statistics videos. I'm planning to have an end-to-end -end playlist on statistics, which covers a lot of concepts related to descriptive statistics, prescriptive statistics, uh, predictive statistics, and all these things, right? So today's topic is going to be on central tendency, measure of central tendency. We shall be talking about mean, median, and mode, which is a very easy concept to understand but still many of the people are confused when and where to use it. So central tendency measures the central value of the data set. It also gives us idea about the concentration of the value in the central part of the distribution, right? Now, many of you might have known that we usually e use mean, median or mode in terms of null value imputation. Many of the people tell that we have to use mean as a null values. If you have null values, just use mean. Some people tell just use median. Some people tell just use mode, but nobody really explains when and where and how to use it. Okay. Before knowing about how to use it, we shall be talking about the individual differences between mean, median and mode. Mean, which is a statistical term, the normal human language is basically average. So we tell, tell about average, right? What is the average score of the Indian batsman? Let's say everybody score 50, 60, 50, something like that. 50, 60, 50. And what is the average of it? 100 plus 60, 160 by 3, which is 53.33, right? So it's an average set of observation of the data. It computes the sum of all the observation present in the data sets divided by the total number of observations. As simple as that, right? Now talking about the next concept, which is going to be median. What is a median? Median is exactly the middle value of a data set. It splits whole data set into two parts and takes the middle value. Let's say you have numbers like this, 1, 11, 5, 4, 9, 10, 12, something like this. So what is going to be the middle value? So first step is going to be sorting. So if we sort it, it, it will be like 1, 4, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many elements do we have here? We have three, three, seven elements. The middle element is nine. So here the median is going to be nine. What if I also have another element called as 13? So we have 13. So we have eight elements, right? So what are the middle elements? My middle elements are nine and 10. So the median is going to be 9 plus 10 by 2, which is going to be 9.5. Okay. And the mean value is going to be, of course, the sum of all these values divided by the total number of observations. Simple. Now, what is mode? Mode is something which is mostly used in categorical variables. For numerical variables, we can use mean, we can use median. Okay, let's talk about mode first. Let's say I have a feature called as gender. I have female and male. Now let's say you have 10 records. Out of them, eight have values and two are null values. So do we impute them with male or female? That's the question. Now let's say out of the eight values, if you have five females and three males, so here the mode is going to be female. Mode is basically the observation which is having in bulk. For example, if you have a categorical variable, you have five valid values. If one of them is having more count, the, mean, the mode is going to be that. Just in case, if I have four females and four males. So in this case, the mode will be both female and male. But there is a catch. In Python, if you are using import statistics, and then if you call statistics.mode of, let's say list one, and let's say your list one is basically uh, male, male, female, female. That means I have 
like two values from each value now if you do this it will throw me an error no mode found okay so it depends upon library to library but conceptually in this case if you have equal amount of distribution you can the, the main motive is you can use either of the values if you want to impute the null values now that is all about mean median and mode i will also talk about some of the practical applications of it in one of my videos i am coming up with some eda videos as well i already have some eda videos in my channel but i'm coming up with some more eda videos where i can show you the real implementation of outlier detections how to dis how to discard the outliers whether to use or not what type of null values imputation we have to do i will also come up with some videos where we can also show you how to detect outliers using the clustering techniques and how to impute null values using time series forecasting now these are the things which are theoretically known to us we know it theoretically but the practical applications is not done yet so i will up, i will be coming up with those videos as well stay connected guys i will come up with more and more statistics videos and some real life use cases power bi data dashboards machine learning projects and all those things that's it from my side i am really sorry if my my pace is a little bit fast so you have to you know get used to it but anyways i know most of the people in my you know subscription list they already know my pace so i think that's okay and of course if you like this video please like share and subscribe as much as possible and please write down something in the uh, comment section below so that i will be knowing what kind of background you are coming from if you have a specific doubt sir i don't understand what is kurtosis or what is qness can you make a video on it i will definitely make a video on it okay and that's it from my side guys i'm also going to do some some sort of uh, i'm going to give some sort of google links to all of you so that you can provide your doubts if you have any doubts and you are not able to solve the doubts then i will accumulate those doubts and come up with multiple videos where i will also show that hey this video is basically based on this doubt asked by mr x and i'm going to tell the answer as well so that these are things which i am going to try in the coming in the coming future so that's it from today's video guys thank you i hope you liked it please like share and subscribe to the channel and good night bye bye